Since I'm here in Fall Arbor, you can cut this into the episode. I should check and see if I can get anything for giving the meteorite to this guy. Here you go. Sure, what TM do you give me? This is where you find them. That's interesting. That's very interesting. That's... okay. That was way more than I thought it would ever gonna be. Okay. Do I even have Pokeballs? Actually... I got some. Let's see if this will work. Considering I'm never really gonna use it elsewhere. Yep. Alright, great ball, let's go. Nope. Well, that's out of great balls. Great. So I got in a Pokeball. Works for me. So Viper and Zangoose are eternal rivals. It counters a Zangoose's dazzling agility with its sword-like tail, which also oozes a horrible poison. Well... <laughs> a kind of... Kinda wanna go with the self-referential thing. Sa Viper will be named after what I once called something else. It will be named after the Egg Viper. From Sonic Adventure. Because get a load of this. I don't know. Well, uh, is that really a good name? <laughs> like... You know what? No, I'm pressing start before I before I backpedal on it. Egg Viper. He's our new team member. Sassy. Applic Bite doesn't even have a poison type move. Well, he's there now. I'm probably not going to be using him much, but he, I have him. Let's get back to level now. Oh! Bell Evolves at level 30. I didn't even know that. I thought it was like 32 or something. Cool! Now he's got a pretty dress. Got this thing from this guy. 
because I've been grinding up here for a while. Getting ash. And apparently the yellow food indefinitely he heals confusion if you use it. So, it's basically the perfect healing item for me. Much better place to grind. I just don't think I saw those pat that patch of grass. I didn't remember seeing these patches of grass. This didn't even occur to me as a place I could grind on. Oh, damn. Okay. After about four or five jump cuts, I'm not sure what's gone on, but... Alright. Bring it on, Flannery. It's rematch Palooza time. I have leveled up quite a lot. So I feel pretty... I feel pretty ready for this. Not gonna lie. That's a dead Numel. Alright. Sunlight being strong kind of worries me. They're not using anything. Okay, poisoned. I don't remember what Endeavor does. I put it on here because I was like, I'm gonna try... I might as well have it. I, I genuinely forget what it is, though. I'll use it. It failed. Okay, well that was a mistake, but whatever, I was poisoned anyway, that was pro- she wasn't probably gonna last too long. Alright, Bell's a Gardevoir now. That's fun. Bell's poisoned now, great. He's gonna be dead next turn no matter what, so I'm going to heal this poison, actually. Great! I don't think it's worth using the poison cure again because this freaking camera is gonna just probably murder me otherwise, so I'm just going to get this out. Okay. Wasn't expecting that to be that effective, but okay. Okay, well, he's g she's gonna heal up the Torkoal. But, I should be able to get it right back there, down there. So this poison basically did nothing. Alright! Didn't even need anyone else, I just needed Bell, I guess. Good job, Bell. I've only recently become a gym leader. I try too hard to be someone I'm not. 
I have to do some do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Here's some money, and you're probably gonna give me overheat. And the heat badge, which probably lets me use strength outside of battle. Yep, there it goes. TM50, presumably, is overheat. I mean, there are so many overheat moves. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Well, finally made it. Now what? Oh, hi, Brendan. Please don't fight me. Ulti, hey, it's been a while. How's it going? That's a decent collection of badges. Alright, then you may as well have this. The Go Goggles! Keep those with you if you're planning on going into that desert. Should be Pokemon that are exclusively desert dwellers. You might look around for those. Man, Brendan, you're kind of a dick. Unlike you, your dad is better. Like... That's not how your dad jokes work. Or whatever you would call those. Alright. Well... If we can go into the desert now, which I do want to go into the desert... Uh, there's nothing, pretty much nothing else left. We found one Stardust. Um, while I'm in the desert, I should put Chelo out in front because Chelo needs some levels to match up everyone else. Flint too, but Flint probably wouldn't be doing great in this place. Mirage Tower, what the hell is this place? It's got a Pokemon in it. Trap Inch! Sorry, but I won't be using you, bud. Have some seeds. Did you like them? Plenty more where that came from. Cracked tiles here. I don't think we've seen anything like that before. Okay. I thought I might be able to... Maybe I need to just, like... Have a more of a running start. Because I think, like, the cracked tiles are things that you can't go on unless you're on the map, The mock bike. Which is part of the one of the reasons why I was like, Okay, you need the mock bike progress through stuff. But I guess I just wasn't going fast enough. Yeah, this is gonna be really annoying. You cannot stop! Oh my god! What's down this way? Nothing. Okay, let's try this again. God, it's so hard to go corners! Yeah! It's- that's really hard. <laughs> Oof, I hope the next floor doesn't have more of those. I'm gonna fall otherwise. Oh, there's more up there. Oh, this is just Rock Smash. I can do Rock Smash. Man, this this area really wants me to get a trap inch. I'm sorry, I can't. All right. Oh, this is how you get the fossils. Okay, well, I guess I'll be getting a fossil Pokemon. Rest in peace, tower. We killed it. 
root fossil disappeared into the sand. I am 95% certain that... Uh... The root fossil is... Lilip and Cradley, and the other one is a North and Armaldo. The one I got is a North and Almar, Almar, blah, blah, blah. Um, if I'm wrong, I don't care that much. Both are fine. I'm not really gonna be using them anyway. Hi, wearing these gog goggles makes me feel like a superhero. Right now, nobody can beat me. That was a long and boring battle. Will you be any better? I hope you will. Well, I gained a level. Well, that was also kind of boring. This desert area is pretty small. I want a certain Pokemon. Please and thank you. Maybe I should catch a sand true, so just so that I have this constant, like, I'm always catching sand trues in these Pokemon Let's Plays. Like, just make it my thing. I always get a sand true. That'd be amusing. I don't think I want to do that, but... Is there something about, like, the sandstorm that makes it harder to see because I would swear that these moves I'm using are 100% chance hit moves and yet I'm just flat out missing sometimes. It's quite odd. Anyways, hi! I haven't shown any of the battles yet in this guy, and so this guy only has one thing, so I'll, I'll, I'll be fine showing this battle. I wanted to say I haven't shown off any of the battles in this desert, but I said this guy instead. Also, that was a one-hit KO. Cool. I like that. Didn't even get poisoned. Alright, so... Can I please find the Pokémon? Please, I know Chayla's about to die, I don't care. Oh, hey, a trainer. I didn't fight you. Oh, sorry, I already disintegrated one and took the other for myself. Okay, please. God, there's a lot of trainers down here. Here we go, jeez. Ball toy, you are the one I am looking for. The lucky toy of balls. Okay, it's quite a lot of damage. Let's mud slap you instead next. Ow. Hmm. Octone won't do a whole lot, right? Okay, okay. Getting to a bit dangerous territories here. Let's see if we can get him. Come on, get him. Yeah, we got him! Boltoy was caught. A ball toy moves by spinning on its single foot. It has been depicted in murals adorning the walls of a once bustling city in an ancient age.
get some W. Mm. Zwoomp. What others do I have? Ellipses. I can name somebody just flat out ellipses? Wow. Zwoomp. I don't know why, but I just like the idea of adding a number to them, to it, to their name. I don't know. I kind of like it. Zwoomp32. I don't know what the 32 means. It just sounds good. Do I want to go with this? Why not? Sure. Alright, that's our first boxed Pokemon. Let's go get him back. And explore the rest of the desert for this episode. Okay. Goodbye, Egg Viper. We hardly knew ye. In fact, we never saw ye. And with that, Zwoop32 joins the roster. Okay. Zwoop32 so is not even that super low. Alright, so they're Ground Psychic, Party Nature, Mud Slap, Psybeam, Rock Tomb, and Self Destruct! Nice! Okay. So they're Psychic and Ground. And also, this is why I didn't necessarily want to give, um, dig to, uh, someone else, because Wump can learn it. Because, and since he's ground type, he'll get stabbed from it. Also, depending on psychic type moves, I'm hoping that Zwoomp can be my definitive psychic type instead of Bell. Can anyone learn Shockwave? Lapis, Bell, and Flint can. It's actually really interesting that Flint can learn that. What about Overheat? Nobody I have can learn Overheat. Cool. Return might be useful on... Uh, Lilac, because Lilac I've had for a, quite a while, and I'm going to be keeping Lilac for throughout the rest of the game. And Return is, return is basically like, it relies on friendship value. To be strong. So I don't know, I think it could be worth putting on Lilac. I've certainly been using Lilac enough. Oh, that's what Endeavor does. And that's why it failed, I think, because the other version was lower. I don't think Endeavor's gonna be that useful of a move. But I also haven't used Mimic yet. I don't think Mimic's actually all, all that useful, so I'm gonna replace it with Return instead. Plus, also, Lilac gets stabbed from it. Alright. Should I teach someone strength? Chalo and Flint can learn it. I don't think I'm gonna keep Fury Cutter around. Fury Cutter does not seem very good anymore. And I really haven't had a, a good opportunity to use it anyway. And strength is at least useful, unlike cut. Plus, if I don't like it on Chalo, I can always just take it off him eventually. Alright. 
Now that all that's done. What do I want in front? Since there's gonna be some double battles and stuff in, around here. I put Zwoomp out in front. See how he does. Against you! And I'll probably cut most of the other battles out. Ruin Maniac Dusty has a Sand Slash. Looks like it's sleep. Very surprised to see me. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Let's do this instead. Oh wow, it's almost as if you knew that I was going to be switching. Alright, absorption. God damn it, why? Why? It's so annoying! It's so annoying that Sandstorm does this. Because I know these moves do not miss this often. They're not supposed to. But because I'm in the Sandstorm, you can't see anything. Now he's gonna die. Screw you. Alright, I'm gonna go kill everything else now. If you don't mind. Leaf Blade! Ooh! What is Leaf Blade? Slashes with a sharp leaf, high critical, hit ratio. Oh my, my, my. Which one do I want to get rid of, though? Well, let's see it has a max of 50. This is a max of 70. Absorb can heal me. Absorb can heal me, but it's not the most useful. And there's other things like Giga Drain that I could get later, so... I'm getting rid of Azor for now. Now I have an actually really strong grass type move, though. That's great. Been waiting for that. Alright. I'll fight everyone else. I had a sandwich in the last game. Not for you, we shall expose that secret. I shouldn't have to come to a place like this for a picnic. Then don't, idiot. There's a thing down here. And an item. So this trek was worth it. The item is... Sandstorm! How fitting. Alright, so that's it for the desert. So, next time on Let's Play... Um... Pokemon Emerald, we're gonna be heading back to Petalburg to take on the normal-type gym. That's it, that's the outro, so see you guys then.